You're almost done with the app, but there's one thing left to do, adding an app icon and a display name for the app. This is really simple stuff, so let's dive right in. Adding an icon is pretty easy. Just open up assets.exe assets, and there's a default entry for the app icon. And what it has here is it has different boxes that you should fill in for the different sized icons on different devices, different device sizes, and different uses. So this one's used for when a notification gets sent out. This one is used in Spotlight. This one is the basic app icon itself, and so on. In the resources for this exercise, I have an icon folder. And what you want to do is just drag in the appropriate one into each slot. So for example, when it says icon 20 points, and then a 2x version of that, all of these numbers are in pixels right here. So 2x times 20 would be 40. So I want to drag in the 41 into that slot. And then 20 times 3 would be 60. So I want to drag the 61 into that slot. And I'm just going to repeat this process. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time. So I'm going to speed up the video at this point. All right, that's it for the icon. Now there's one last thing, which is to change the display name. And to do that, you just select the project over here, and in the general tab, you are looking for display name. And it defaults to the name of your project, which is all one word, bullseye. But it would look better, I think, if we did bull apostrophe s space i. All right, let me build and run. And let me get back to the home screen by going to hardware, home. And rotate this back. Check it out, I see a nice icon for the app and it says bullseye.